<laughs> what are you making? Are you making katsu sando per my request? Hi, Chloe. <laughs> Isabel's mommy bought a huge thing of pork shoulder, so we've been having pork. Today we're having a yucateco dish called cueco con frijoles, which is pork butt with black beans. And off of doing that, I make cubes with the fatty parts. And then the leaner part, like a pork chop, I was able to portion it out. Well, that just kind of fell apart. Okay, fine. This is pork shoulder, so we're gonna fry this and make a tonkatsu sandwich. I just see your tummy. Right, what? <laughs> I said, just see, you just see your tummy and you're holding the cabbage. <laughs> okay. When you pick a cabbage, this squatty flat cabbage is called Taiwanese cabbage. Taiwanese, Taiwanese. The way to pick this is first of all, they have to be like short and you know. <laughs> pick one that's light. That's light. This one is light, you see? This is about two and a half pounds very hollow. That means there's a lot of air inside and it's going to be tender. This cabbage is naturally sweet. Please do me a favor. Any round vegetables, cut in the middle please. Onion, um, any cabbage, any... <laughs> cut in the middle so you can get the dark green outside part, the tender yellow parts. They all you taste cut. different. They all have its own balance. God made this a certain way for you to enjoy its own intent. Don't change that course. You cut the core out. You can save this for soups and stuff. But in this case, we're not. <laughs> Try to cut as thin as you can. Because this is tonkatsu. Now I have this egg that's like stubborn. And I still got it right. You know what you do when you have a little shell fell into the egg? A lot of times you can't pick it up. So now you take your shell and when you go pick it up, it's a piece of cake. The shell attracts the shell back into the shell. Any kind of uh, cutlet or katsu, it's always flour, egg, breadcrumb. It's always one dry hand, one wet hand. We season the pork a little bit with salt. Salt will bring out flavor of anything. So always season your food. It don't come seasoned. People coat it twice. You want to pan fry it like a shallow fry, but only season the flour part and the pork to bring out the pork flavor. <laughs> you can drop and then we can finish coating the last one, no? But the last one is the thickest. We should do the thickest one first. This is the thickest one. Tonkatsu sandwich. Here we go. Low heat, low enough, and you kind of want it to flow enough in there. Low heat, why? Because you don't want to dry it out. So when you fry it fast and light, like a tempura, you go higher heat. So I wanted to go slow and slow on the fry. It's also thick pork I wanted to cook. So you hear that sound? That sound tells you that your pork is, you know, hot on the jacuzzi, getting very comfortable. And the smell is like pork. It's like fried chicken. Good old fried chicken or good french fries, they're always fried twice or even three times. They're not a direct fry. Pork chop, kotsu, only fry usually once. But when you make fried chicken, always fry low and slow. So you have this crackling, juicy oil. I want that pork to be kind of darker brown. Like that's not dark enough for me. And I don't want to rush it. I want to let it go. So my pork is cooked through and slowly, very slow. You rinse it with water and you cool it down. Dry paper towel and then reverse in the fridge. I think that's cooked quite well. And this juice start to come out, so ready to turn. Wow. I don't have the Russian mustard, so I'm just mixing my own. With four kinds of mustard. Which is French one, Japanese one, American one, and Mendocino one. It's gotta be good. So we want to make sure the bread for sandwiches for Japanese style is nice and soft. We have our assembly, little mustard, the mayonnaise, katsu sauce, and that'd be bad. My sandwiches, the bread part have no texture. I just wanted to barely warm it up nice and soft. So I guess I'll just go first guy out. It's this guy, right? It's yeah, rested, yeah. it's got some juice. And I guess I just want to make it all fit in there. That's big. And then I guess, um, I guess I should have put mustard on the bread before I put the pork. Okay, it's a learning process. This is my first time doing this. Go 
That's the sauce. Clearly you would correct me if I'm doing it wrong. Don't worry. I don't think so. She's talented. She's naturally there, right? Good. Yeah, we're good. Sending good vibes. We got, we're good, man. <laughs> Here's the time to go with the mayo. Nice and soft, and we give it a good squish. The Japanese cuts it in three sandwiches. One, no edge, okay? No edge. Don't worry, I'm gonna eat that. And then we cut it like this. Yummy. So the pork is just cooked, and that's our pork sandwich. Yay! <laughs> okay. How is it? So good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wheat bread? The end. Mm -hmm. And pork butt? Mmm. Now that's a bite. Mmm. I love you. Love you. Here we go. <laughs> you want a mini cast your sando? Damn. Can I have the bread instead? Shh. Instead? I like it. It would be the same thing because yeah. this goes on top. And when you do it like this, it looks really pretty. You could really enjoy it like it's like condensed milk. <laughs> no, 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 more, more. Or double that. Give it a yeah. All right, here we go. Now Chris is gonna take over and give it a nice squish and cut all the edges off. What the heck? Can I make it really pretty, like one of those like four piece? Well, I made it really pretty when I was cutting it. Woo! So be sure to yeah, be sure to keep it. I think three pieces is the Japanese way. Otherwise, it gets too small. I got you, Daddy. Don't cut too much. <laughs> cut here. That's our. You're leaving it all scrap. Bro, you put the whole sandwich on. Wait. <laughs> Trust the process. Wait, give me a plate. Finger. Give me a plate. I'm gonna put a flat. Use your knife as a guide, but. Come on now. Let's go. I ain't playing around here. Wait, no, 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 no more. F you guys. You just showed up and have so much fun, and you say F you guys. Why would you do that? Yeah, why would you do that? It is a joke. You showed up for the best food, the best mm -hmm. experience. Is this a joke? You know how many kids get to cut this? It's just a world? joke! I, I don't know about you, but I'm going at it. It's <laughs> really filming the wall. <laughs> It's a dish that's got nothing to look at because it's all black, but it packs a punch of flavors. Watermelon radishes. Here we serve. Pickle con frijoles. Thank you, salt. What is this yeah, called in Spanish? Banda? Banda. Banda, banda. Where'd you learn to make this? Isa's uh, employee meal. You learned it from the employees? Wow. So you want to tell us the origin of this meal? When you used to work in the kitchen? I think I remember having one of these meals, like with all the staff. Wow. So this was the employee My meal. bean soup could never. <laughs> banda, banda. I got brass, I got did you not get it? I got it panda, 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 panda. Yeah, I got rather than Oh, look at the radish, it's so pretty. I did this today, guys. I filmed it. Chris put a pinch of salt on the avocado. Mm -hmm. Aguacate mm -hmm. needs a little flaky salt. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daddy. Thank yeah. You. I'll be your salt bay. <laughs> <laughs> You're scary. Oh, I like that salt container. I actually like the salt, too. This. <laughs> Hey, you know what I do think? If this isn't enough, we can always grill the steak. I'm your sous chef, Dad. Because he's here? What a treat. So the way to eat is to you roll this up, dip it in, along with the pork. That's it. It's okay. nothing to look at, it's a stew, but the flavor is... It was at the end of the night? Oh, the no. Chefs? Before service. It's, it's before service at four o'clock. I'm getting that rather chilly moment. Thank you. How long did you boil it for? Total about 35 minutes only. I like like the earthiness from the tortilla. Mm. 
The it's corn just paste. dry. Uh -huh. What were your employee meals? What would you rotate between? We did a lot of this. We had a lot of chicken wings and chicken drums because we used the thigh and the breast. So what was the pork butt from? We order it just for our employees. This is a cheap cut of meat and it has a lot of flavor. Oh, so this is what they taught you. This is what we ate. 